At this point, you know how email came to be, you know how it works, and you know the difference between an inbox and drafts. But one thing's still missing. Oh, pff, how to actually write an email. Sure, that sounds easy, but do you know how to use these? What about these? And don't even get me started on how complicated the rules are for writing a professional email. Well, stick around and find out how to write emails the right way. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to write and reply to emails. Let's get into it. Right, so um, we want to start a new email. Where would we? Oh, right there, new email. Some email clients say something different like new mail or compose mail, but it's usually featured prominently on the interface, so it's hard to miss. Now, uh, what do we want to say? Oh, I know, we can invite Justin to guest star in a future computer skills lesson. Hmm. That doesn't look quite right. Hmm. Here's an email etiquette tip. Emails are a bit more formal than texts, so you should use professional language and grammar. How about something like, my viewers love when I have guest stars in my lessons. Last time we had B guest star to show us how to use productivity software. It was so much fun. Would you be available to guest star in a future lesson? The problem is, in order for Justin to actually get to our request, he has to read through all of this other stuff first. Email etiquette tip, put any requests at the beginning of your email. This way the recipient will see the request immediately and then they can read the context information if they want. Now the email reads, would you be available to guest star in a future lesson? My viewers love when I have guest stars in my lessons. Last time we had B guest star to show us how to use productivity hardware. It was so much fun. Just asking a favor from him right away still seems a little rude though. Hmm. Here's another email etiquette tip to make your emails a bit more personable. Include a greeting and closing, just like you would when talking to somebody in person. There are lots of greetings we could go with, like, What's up, Justin? Or something more formal, like, Salutations, Justin. But since we're friends, I think I'll say, Howdy, Justin. We also need a closing. Best wishes or sincerely are often used, but since I'm asking Justin for a favor, I think I'll go with a good old thanks. <laughs> of course, emails don't just have to be plain text. You have most of the same text formatting options as in productivity software, so you can make your email look as fancy or as plain as you want. Most of the time though, plain text is better, not to mention more professional. You can also insert images in your email, but there's not much reason for an image in this particular email. Oh, but you know what we could do? If I want to send Justin a link so he can see one of the videos be guest starred in, I could just copy and paste the URL into the email, but that looks kind of messy. So let's try something else. If we highlight some of the text and click this link button, we can turn the text into a nice neat link. The text we linked even describes the video, so Justin knows immediately what the link leads to. This final tool here is something completely new though. It allows you to attach entire computer files to your email. Basically anything on your computer can be sent through email. Cool, right? <laughs> but we don't have anything to attach right now, so we'll leave that alone. I think we're done with the body, so the next thing to write is the subject. The subject is the first thing a recipient will see in their inbox when they receive an email. So the subject should clearly indicate what the email is about, like, Welcome to Mia Academy, or Your bill is due soon, or Check out our latest deals. 
Let's make that an email etiquette tip. The subject line should be short and summarize the topic of the email. Let's write guest star in computer skills question mark. That way he knows what the email is about even before opening it. Since subjects are so short, you don't have to worry as much about proper grammar. Before we move on, here's another email etiquette tip. Proofread your email before sending. You don't want to send an email with typos or incorrect information. Do you see any mistakes in the body or subject of my email? Oh, right. I said productivity hardware instead of software. Good thing we caught that. That would have been embarrassing. Now that our message is complete, we can send it. Wait, we can't send it? Oh, 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 we didn't address it to anybody. You can't send an email if you don't say who you're sending it to. Email etiquette tip, enter your email's recipients last. By waiting to enter the recipients, you can avoid the embarrassing situation where you accidentally send an unfinished email and then have to send a second email apologizing for the first one. Figuring out where to put the recipients can be confusing though because there are actually three lines you can use. Email etiquette tip. Know the difference between two, CC, and BCC. Each one is used differently, and using the wrong one can actually come across as rude. The email address of the main recipients will usually go in the to line. Since Justin is our main recipient, let's address the email to him. If you want somebody to see your email but you don't expect them to reply or do anything, put them in the CC line. This basically tells the CC'd person just so you know, here's the email I sent. Let's CC B so she knows we're looking for more guest stars in future lessons. Any addresses you put in the to or CC lines will be visible to all the other recipients. If you want to protect the recipient's privacy or hide some of the people the email has been sent to, use the BCC line. Any email addresses in the BCC line are hidden from all the other recipients. Let's BCC my boss so they'll see the email, but neither Justin or B will know they saw it. I think we're all set. All we have to do now is send it. And off it goes through the network and... It's probably already arrived in all three of the recipient's inboxes. Email is so fast. It makes you wonder why anybody would choose physical mail. Snail mail, that's what I call it. Do you want to know another reason why email is way cooler than physical mail? Some emails can actually write themselves. Well, kind of. Only if you forward a reply to an email you received from somebody else. If you reply to an email, it will automatically fill in the to line with the email of the sender and fill in the subject so they know that it's a reply to their own email. It even adds your email to a thread with the original kind of like a thread of comments on social media. So you can quickly see not only the reply, but also what it was replying to. Email etiquette tip. Don't use reply all unless it's absolutely necessary. Reply all does all the same things as reply, except it fills in the recipients with everybody that received the email you're replying to. To all of those people, need to see your reply? Probably not. So you'll just end up clogging up their inboxes. Only use reply all when your reply is meant for the whole group. Finally, if you forward an email, the body is filled in with the exact same email and the subject gets a forward tag added to it. All you have to do is type in the recipients and press send and they'll get the email just like if it had been sent directly to them. Basically, when replying or forwarding emails, you should still keep proper email etiquette in mind, but a lot of the work is already done for you. Good luck making a physical letter write itself! So now that you know how to use email, what are you going to send first? Who are you going to send it to?
If you don't think email's written format is quite right for what you want to say, there is another option, video chat. Our next lesson is all about video conferencing software, which allows you to have a live face-to-face -face video chat with anybody in the world. Until then, remember, your brain is the smartest computer you'll ever have, so keep it charged and never stop updating it. See you next time. Hey, hey.